Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've done an update video, but I feel like updating on what's been going on since the start of the year, and how things have been going on in the content aspect and life-wise, and how that has had an impact on the channel, and how things will be moving forward. It was my goal to have a consistent upload schedule since week 2 of January, but a lot has been happening behind the scenes that have stopped that from happening. I feel like since 2020 as the pandemic was starting to have a grip on the world and locked everything down, that I and everyone else had just been surviving with nothing feeling the same since, and just vegetating in our homes. With things locking up four years on, I figured it was time to get back into doing the things that I love to do, being the content I create, and collaborating with friends. While this has been the case for quite a while, my own content has taken a back burner since I have life stuff to get through, such as going back to the gym, forming healthy habits, and fixing my sleep schedule since it was ruined by those all-nighters during college and university. If you know, you know. How this has affected my content is that I've been left with extremely low energy by the time it is suitable for me to record. And that has had an impact on my drive to create content. And while my energy levels have been increasing due to lifestyle changes, I have not been able to create content due to the pressure of searching for a better job. And that takes priority over everything else. But I have still managed to find some time that would be suitable for recording content, but that's another can of worms that I will mention. Superstar Saga has been on a relative hiatus due to recording issues as of late. These issues were highlighted in the episode that will be released on Monday, but I should mention them here. The video recording often glitches with occasional gobbling of the signal, which in my perfectionist mindset, the footage would be tainted with imperfections such as that. In most cases, I would edit those out, but as the footage will be used in the talkative video essay, I would rather not have glitched footage during my talking points. As a result, all production of the video essay have been halted until the end of the Let's Play proper. I have determined that these issues are a problem with my poorly aged PC, which is non-upgradable, and not an issue with the capture card itself. This also aligns with my future goal of saving for a new PC throughout the year. I do also want to bring back the multiplayer randomizer videos for Mario Kart 8, but those take time and effort to schedule, and with a lot of other people's lives being busy, like my own, it's hard to schedule. I don't know how Thomas does it, but he does it anyway. Though Thomas has expressed interest in joining in with it, it's just... A lot of life stuff going on for the both of us right now. So that will be brought back when it's brought back. There is no official date on that just yet. As for other content, namely collaborations, I have recorded some co-op gameplay for Splatoon 1 and Mario Kart 7 before the Wii U and 3DS online play functionality was shut down on April 8th. These were on Thomas G. Ashwell's channel with the Mario Kart 7 video being released later this month. And after Splatoon 1 was shut down, I homebrewed my Wii U and installed Pretendo, so that I may still play games online, even after the official servers were made defunct. I do plan to do the same with my 3DS, but only after the Superstar Saga LP is done, so that I don't lose my save data. I don't want to risk that. I know I can preserve the save data, but there is a risk. There's always a risk with homebrewing. And as for future Let's Plays, I do believe I'm on a bit of a Star Fox kick recently. I've regrettably played Star Fox Zero, I've played through Star Fox 64 3D, and by far the worst one, Star Fox Command. So, yeah, I picked those up just before the eShops closed, and I do not like that one at all. So my Wii U library has expanded as well. So more Wii U games, more DS games on the Wii U Virtual Console, Wii games, and also some Game Boy Advance games as well that aren't available on Nintendo Switch Online on the Switch. That's redundant. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for this update. Not as much, but I figured I would, you know, update you guys on stuff that's happening. Superstar Saga will be returning on Monday at the usual time. So, 
I'll see you guys then.